Hello everybody and uh, thanks for joining me today. Now this is a video I think I should have made first, but you know, better late than never. So uh, this is uh, how to start using Corel Video. So if you've been using it for a little while, you will find this quite boring. So this, you know, unless you like the sound of my voice, you know, you're more than welcome to stay. But like I said, if you've never used any form of uh, video editing software then this might be very useful to get you started so uh, I'm not gonna go into great detail of what everything does because you know we just don't have that sort of time so I'm gonna get you started really quick all I'm gonna use is these three buttons here and this folder well you know what I'm not even gonna use this button I'm just gonna use basically this folder the most so let's get you going this is your library this is your folders and you need to start a new folder. First movie. Alright, so all you need to do is click add and then instantly type in what you want. Enter it. So as you can see it's completely blank. So now you need to drag or put in your video clip. So click onto this folder here and then look for the movie file that you wish to work with wherever it is that you have stored it. So I'm going to use a little film clip uh, about my daughter. So um, here it is. You can see her playing in the pool. You can do the preview by just pressing play here. But I just find this is a lot quicker because you know, it speeds everything up. Now also um, if you have footage that you don't want, say from the very start, like all this pink stuff, if you don't really want that, you can trim it before you insert that into the timeline. Now I have another video uh, tutorial on how to trim your video, um, but I'll quickly, very quickly show you how to do that here. But if you wish to know more, you please have a look at the other tutorial. So you double click on your audio, uh, audio your film clip. This is your scrubber. Just drag your scrubber to the point where you wish for the video to start. Let's say we want to start. Yeah, that looks good. So scrubber in. Let's drag it to the point where you wish it to finish because you may not want all of the footage uh, that you that, that you have or captured and scrubber out. You press OK uh, and then drag that back into your title track. And there you go. So now we have just a short version of the original film. So that's how you insert your video file and that's where you can start editing. Okay, so let's move on. This is your overlay track. So here, you just what it says, you can overlay anything on top of this original footage. A picture or another video, whatever it is you want. So let's... Um, Let's use uh, a picture, for instance. I don't know. Let's find something. Uh, uh, I have no idea what that is, but let's let's use it. It looks like a picture of uh, <laughs> blue screen with two cameras. Uh, but you know, or, you know, whatever it is, for whatever reason you want it, you can position that anywhere by just clicking on the file and holding your finger down and you can move it. You can use the notes to increase the size, decrease the size, whatever you want. Once you like what you see, just click anywhere outside that track. And there you go, there it is. So if I now move my time, you'll see it pop up and then pop back out. So you can do that with video as well, and for whatever reason you wish. Now obviously the, you can do a lot more with that but that's not why we're here we're here to get you started okay your text track very simple there's two ways I'm going to show you the quickest way uh, let's say you wish to put in here hello you just double click on the text track and then double click on the file here and then type in hello oh, isn't that nice it's pink so I've obviously got a preset in there double click anywhere and now uh, you have hello popping up. Isn't that nice? Let's just move it away from the actual overlay clip so you're not going to get confused. 
So there's hello. Now again, I'm not going to go through what everything is here. That that will take too much time. You just want to get started. Another way you could do it, you use your title text. And let's say, for instance, you want this fancy looking type of graphic popping up. Double click. You'll see a preview of what it does. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Okay, this is what you want. This is the effect you want. Drag that in to your timeline. Double click as well. You'll see the first word is highlighted. Double click inside. Backspace to remove the original words. And then type whatever it is that you wish. The, anywhere on the screen. Same thing with this one. Hello world. Isn't that cute? And then if we press play you will see the fancy hello world. Isn't that sweet? So that's how this text can be added to your video. Right, moving on. This the the third line here. This is your voice track. Oh, fourth, I really should be saying. Oh. Late night, you know what I mean. Uh, this is your uh, voice track to do narrating over your your file. Very simple. Choose this icon. Capture options. Uh, a window will pop up. You get many different options of what you can do. Let's just stick to the basics. Voice recorder. If you click on that, you will now have. A voice so let's do test one test two test three and what I did there to stop the audio file is I press my space bar and then if we go back I now have I now have uh, a narration over. You can also put music in here. It doesn't just have to be in voice. You can put music in here. However, they do come with, you guessed it, an audio track. So this is where you can put your music in. So let's find uh, some music that you want to play. Let's go here. Uh, I don't know. Let's just uh, cool change by the little river band. Isn't that fitting to the movie? Drag it in anywhere you want. And then if you press play. you have music and there you go it's really that simple so just a recap this is your uh, first title track this is where your main clip goes into overlay track if you wish to add footage over it like a picture uh, snapshots of your daughter at certain periods you can add it anywhere you want your text track depending on what type you want something fancy or very basic a narration uh, this is your voice track and then last but not least this is your audio track so you can add your music in and that's how you get started now I will quickly show you one more thing uh, and that's your uh, where you can uh, clip your audio, uh, certain parts of the video so let's say you only want the clip to be up to here and everything here must stop just press the little scissor icon and the video clip will literally just split in half and just click on it once and press delete to get rid of any footage after which which you don't require okay so like I said this is very basic just to get you going this software can do so much more but like I said explaining all that today right now would just take way too long you will get bored and probably start watching cartoons Okay, thanks for joining.